everybody. So it's a bit of a busy one today. We've just been out um, to run some errands and we needed to get a bit of shopping but we popped into the charity shops while we were there and got some really good stuff. Um, it was really busy so I didn't film anything but I will show you what I got. But first things first, um, I have sold a, one of my paintings on my shop um, so I need to uh, wrap that up and get to the post office to get that sent off because it's going to America so that needs to go today um, so yeah busy 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 so I need to do that and then I'll show you what I've got it's also a big washing day today and a big tidying day so uh, yeah plenty to do um, quick outfit check these amazing stripy pants boots bandana and this awesome shirt this uh, bib front shirt which is from Frontier Clothing so this is the painting that I've sold. Uh, this is on its way to Arizona. So I just need to tidy up the back, um, draw some holes uh, for these hooks which are going with it. Um, so it hangs properly. And yeah, then it will be wrapped up and on its way. First on the list is this shirt, which I got for two pounds, um, it's been washed. Um, make sure you wash everything before you wear it. Um, it's a red flannel shirt. It is cotton flannel. It is really soft. It's really cozy. Um, yeah, two pounds. Um, it's a size large apparently, but it fits me really well. Um, it's really soft. Uh, it's I think it's probably 90s. That was a really good purchase. And secondly, what I got, uh, I got a pair of corduroys. Um, I've been waiting for the charity shops to put out their corduroy supplies for ages, and they put them all out at the same time. So they had about three or four pairs of corduroys all come out at the same time. They were all basically the same colour. Um, they had these ones are sort of like a needle cord pattern. I don't know. If, yeah, you can kind of see it. Um, they're like a thin cord. Um, I was going to get the thicker ones, but the colour was pretty pants um, and the other ones were ridiculous uh, they were just they just had it um, these are a size 36 waist not that matters um, yesterday I sewed on some braces buttons because I think corduroys always look better with braces also it will help with just the general look of them anyway but they're in really really good condition these have also been um, washed uh, I don't actually think these have been worn. These were four pounds, um, but yeah, they still had one of their tags on. Um, so either the guy that had these before me didn't bother to take it off and just wore it, wore them with the tag on, or he didn't wear them at all. So yeah, four pounds, absolute bargain. These are from Marks and Spencers originally, so they're a decent brand. Um, the only thing is they're a 31 inside leg, which is a little bit short for me, but I'll be wearing them with boots anyway, so it doesn't make that much difference. Um, I am a 30. I don't even know what inside leg I am. I usually take longer than 31. Um, the red shirt I got is from uh, Faded Glory Originals. I can't quite remember them at the moment. It rings a bell, but I can't remember quite who they are. But yeah, so new outfit for a fiver. Uh, all I've done is sew on some buttons uh, for the braces and give them a wash and that's it um, so I'm gonna see if I can create an outfit with those two things uh, today it's nice and sunny so hopefully I should be able to get some decent pictures footage whatever um, yeah I'm gonna have some breakfast now though uh, and go and put on a watch because yeah that's annoying me also very quickly what I got uh, Aside from clothes at the charity shops, I got a couple of books because I can't say no to books because I love books. Um, I got these were 50p each, I think. I got uh, The Shortest History of the Soviet Union. This looks like being quite a good read. It's not a very long book. Um, it just looks like being quite funny. It's got quite some good, some quite good reviews, so that should be quite good. Um, and also, I got uh, The Bright Ages. Uh, I think I've only ever seen this book in passing once, um, but it's about how good the Middle Ages were. Instead of the Dark Ages, they're the Bright Ages. So it's a new history of medieval Europe. 
that's going to look awesome on the shelf, so I'm happy about that anyway. Um, so yeah, I will let you know how I get on with those. Okay, so as you can see, I've put on my outfit. Um, the only things I've added are this uh, neck scarf, which came from Dog and Bone Vintage in York, and my cowboy boots, and also this hat, which is an Akubra, which I got off of eBay a few years ago. It's an amazing hat, I love it. I used to have this, it's this exact hat when I was younger. My mum got it for me from somewhere or other. Uh, but I got rid of it, so I've rebought it. Um, it was from eBay, uh, I can't remember how much it was, but it's a great hat. But yeah, this is the outfit that I bought yesterday for five pounds. And all I've done is sewn on some buttons, um, which I had spare lying around for braces. Braces I already had, boots I already had, and the hat I already had. And this neckerchief, which I love, I already had as well. It's sort of a knitted woolen um, neckerchief. Uh, which is really nice for the colder weather because it's quite cold today so you're going to need um, something to keep you warm but yeah this is a really good shirt it's a really nice wool uh, cotton flannel um, it's snug for the weather it's nice and loose loose fitting as well so it's not going to like make you overheat and yeah uh, i'm going to go down for a walk to the woods and i'll show you the outfit in action
Hello. So, um, as enticing as it is behind me, I'm going to head back because just up that way is rather a large construction site which has some very large and very unpleasant guard dogs, which I found out last time I walked that way. So we're going to head on back through the forest. just lost uh, a couple of my bits and pieces. I actually brought a jacket with me because I didn't know if it was going to be really warm, uh, really cold, and it's turned out to be really warm. Um, I think it said it was going to be like 15, 15 degrees today. Um, it's definitely all of that, and it's a bit a bit more in the sun, I think, because it is blue today. Look at that, not a cloud up there. So um, I'm going to disentangle myself from these brambles. This bit of the path is really overgrown, like there's barely a way through. <laughs> um, so I might put my jacket back on for that because there were some eye level um, stinging nettles that I've got to get through. But yeah, I'm going to do that, get home and uh, yeah, have a drink. Uh, it's only like half past two, so I'm getting to the warmest part of the day. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, I am just home. Uh, my heart rate has pretty much returned to normal. Uh, I always forget how steep that hill is. It's ridiculously steep and it goes on forever. So I am rather warm, I've got to be honest with you, so I apologise if I look red or sweaty or a mess. Um, but yeah, that's a big hill. <laughs> so yeah, I've just got in. Uh, I've got myself a cup of tea and some shortbread and I'm going to have a fairy cake as well, because why not? Um, I'm filming this on my laptop at my desk, by the way, because I'm going to transfer all the video I just took. Uh, I think I got some good stuff, but I'm going to have a look. It's a lovely sunny day, and the lighting is really good. So I got some nice pictures, I hope. Um, yeah, just a quick summary on the gear, really. Um, I didn't really wear anything apart from this and my boots, and I took my jacket as well, which I've just shaken out outside because a spider had followed me home. Um, yeah, the shirt was really good. It's a really nice shirt for the, what was it? Uh, two pound, absolute bargain shirt. It's a perfect outdoor shirt. Cotton flannel is so good in this weather. It's it's warm when you need it to be because it's not always warm when the you're in the shade or a bit of a breeze pops up. Cotton flannel is just perfect for that. It's such a good balance and you don't have to spend a lot of money on it to get decent cotton flannel as well. This was two pound. Um, if you want to spend the money on something decent, I would say that Carhartt do good flannel. Um, Levi's do some quite good flannel shirts from time to time, but I would say the absolute pinnacle of flannel that you can buy is L.L. Bean. Their flannel shirts are second to none in my opinion. Um, 
so yeah, if you need a flannel shirt and you've got a bit of extra money, um, go buy an LL Bean one. I bought one new, I um, can't remember how long it was ago, it was a while ago. I bought one new uh, and it wasn't, I didn't think it was too badly priced, uh, to be honest. Um, back when I bought things full priced and I got another one in a second hand shop in Falmouth for like a tenner um, so yeah L.L. Bean fantastic shirts this final shirt is a fantastic shirt I am so glad I spent the two pounds on this absolute bargain the trousers for being like needle cord so not really like heavyweight cord it stood up really well I didn't get stung once with the, all the stinging nettles I was going through with that tiny tight little passage that I had to go through I didn't get stung I didn't get scratched with all the thorn bushes that there were nothing has come through these trousers and considering they're just like Marks and Spencers everyday almost like office wear cords they stood up really well um, they haven't been like so warm that my legs are on fire they're just nice, really comfy trousers. Corduroys are always comfortable. I love corduroys, one of my favorite fabrics, along with flannel. Um, yeah, it's been a really good outfit, considering it only cost five pounds, absolutely fantastic. And it just proves that you can't really go wrong buying from charity shops. Buy used, buy second hand. You don't need to buy stuff new. Um, you, you really don't, because there's some great stuff out there, second hand, if you go and have an explore, but yeah. But I would say if you do want to, um, buy a new flannel shirt of really supreme quality L.L. Bean is the place to go corduroys um, I don't know really these are actually surprisingly good maybe Marks and Spencer I don't know um, I'll have to do some more research into the corduroy phenomenon to let you know where to get those from but yes I'm going to transfer all my video that I've just taken edit some pictures and have my tea <laughs> Hello everybody, so I just had uh, something to drink and something to eat, um, I need to get ready for my uh, girlfriend coming home from work, so I am going to sign off this video, I actually just realised that this outfit goes really nicely with this jacket we bought the, bought the other day, so like the whole outfit, new trousers, I changed my boots by the way, new trousers, shirt and this jacket was like a tenner, that's mad, um, so yeah anyway I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought, um, drop a like and a subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. I think this is going to be Friday's video so I will see you all next week. I hope you have a good weekend and do lots of stuff outside, keep yourselves busy and yeah just uh, enjoy your life. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.